Hello again, everybody. Todd Michael Putnam here from D&D Creative Table Designs, bringing you another adventure table idea. And this one is the Great Balloon Rescue. The Great Balloon Rescue. So the, the good folks over at WizKids were kind enough to send me uh, an, an advanced product sample of their, their Swamp Gas Balloon, which is this cool guy right here. Uh, and then they also sent me some of their new battle mats. Uh, and if anybody who's been watching my channel, my builds over the years, knows that I'm a huge, huge believer in battle mats. I always call them my secret sauce because they provide the, the background. Imagine this same setup on that. Uh, you would clearly lose an awful lot of the immersion. So battle mats just do so much in order to, to, to bring things to life. And WizKids has now got three battle mats that are available. Uh, the first is a forest mat, uh, which is what I used for the swamp adventure that I had done previously. The next is a, uh, a plains mat. And finally, they have an ocean mat. And all three of them uh, are gridded like this. Uh, if you get look up close, you can see the grid. So if you're interested in the, in the you know, uh, six inches equals 30 feet movement of combat and you want to be precise about it, all three of their mats have grids on it, uh, which, which is great for that experience. And uh, so between the balloon mats and the ocean mats and stuff, I, I decided to come up with uh, another uh, adventure. And this one here is the characters or the heroes are flying along in their balloon above the weather, weather traveling from point A to point B uh, in, in a travel type session. And there's a huge storm that's going on below. When the storm clears and they look down, they see that there's a ship uh, that has become dashed up against some rocks uh, and is floundering. And unfortunately, the Sogan, who are very territorial, the sea devils, have come up out of the sea and they have begun assaulting this ship uh, and uh, attempting to either take the, the sailors as captives or, or to kill them um, in, in order to uh, support their various purposes, usually not least of which is simply territorial gains and making sure that, uh, that nobody muzzles in on their territory or sails over it. So when the heroes see the... Um, the ship floundering below, they go to see some help. As they get closer, they realize that the ship is actually under attack and they come down close with their balloon and to rescue the sailors. If they can destroy the, the Salgan, if they can fight them off, uh, I just use some, uh, some doll filler uh, in order to push up against the side of the ship in order to make uh, waves there. Uh, so that, that came out pretty good. But uh, the, the first thing would be for the, the heroes in order to try and fight off the Salgan. And you can do that like a, almost like a, um, a gauntlet where the, uh, the Salgan will come in waves. The weakest ones will come first. Maybe they'll just throw spears and stuff and then they'll start pushing up against and they'll try and board the ship itself. And then maybe you'll have magic users or whatever uh, spell casting Salgan if you want. Uh, and then you could potentially have on a, on a final wave like uh, the Salgan Barons. Uh, come out and you, you know that are that are four armed guys um, uh, that come out and, and, and make uh, combat that much more difficult and remember each successive wave if the wave is harder of the monsters it's also harder because they've used up resources fighting off the previous wave so they have fewer spell slots if you're or, uh, or spells memorized uh, they, they, there's not as many heals left there could be down on potions so you're, you're double amping up on the on, on the difficulty as each successive wave, uh, of Salgan attacks does it. So even though you're in one solitary location, it's kind of like a base defense sort of thing where the ship uh, is lodged up against the rocks uh, and they can they can do a certain amount of motion traveling about with the balloon uh, in order to, in, in some areas in order to try and, uh, and fight the Salgan off or part of the party could drop onto the decks themselves uh, and fight side by side with the sailors to defend them. So the first, uh, the first goal would be to save both the sailors and the ships. If they were unable to do that, uh, you could always say that it was a fishing vessel and grab some of the fishing nets and literally just haul up the sailors underneath the net uh, and fly away with them uh, and, and to try and save them. And of course, that would be both the captain and the crew's last choice because all, all of their wealth is basically on board the vessel. The fish that they've caught, their livelihood is there. If they lose the ship, they also lose their livelihood. So they're going to fight and try and stay uh, absolutely to the, to the utmost of their ability uh, because they lose so much more uh, if, than if they just fly away on the balloon or get carried away on it. So that's the idea behind it. Uh, some of the other 
items that I have on there. Of course, um, I, this is a WizKids, the Falling Star ship. Uh, you can get those either on Amazon or on eBay, places like that. That has been released. The balloon will be released soon, uh, along with the battle mats. Uh, and then uh, these waves that I got right here, these are from Griffin Co. GriffinCo.com, and all they are is just little 3D printed waves. And um, I've got several of those, and they do great for making like a storm type effect. Uh, so it's not just a perfectly flat thing. And I had them painted up so they match pretty well, not perfectly of course, but they match pretty well with the turbulent water of the, the WizKids uh, water mat, battle mat. So that's great. And then I just have some rocks here that I have from Monster Fight Club. Uh, I had these black washed so that they look a little bit nicer than they do uh, in the default shipping. And boy, it, it really does make a difference. Uh, and then lastly, I have uh, this also from Griffin Co. This is basically some, some sea floatsum, some you know wreckage from a ship. So I've got a few of these and I just had them painted up. And that's just a great way to show that a, a ship is in distress. Uh, and as I said, I just used um, doll filler uh, in order to uh, to uh, actually make the, the ocean waves appear the way that they do, like they're bashing up against the ship. And how I put it at the able, uh, at, the, at an angle is I literally, I can pull this out here, I literally got blue translucent door stops. I like to cast a wide net. This is a blue translucent door stop uh, that I go, and you can slide it up underneath the ship. I have obviously one in the back as well, uh, in order to prop the ship up at an angle and then by using the, uh, the, the doll filler, you, uh, you make it, you cover that up, and you've got, you've got a, a ship that's sitting at an angle, uh, not so steep that the, that the minis can't stay on it, but enough to show that the ship is in distress. And then all you got to do is if you pop it up against a rock like this, it becomes blatantly obvious to the players what's going on there. Oh, look, the ship is floundering on the rocks. Uh, and there's, boy, there's an awful lot of creatures down there. You get down closer and they realize, oh, they're being swarmed. Um, clearly, there's going to be a great reward if they're, if they're saved. Unless, uh, that is, even if you don't have an altruistic uh, hero-based campaign where they're, you know, they just do things for the purpose of being right. If you save the fishermen's lives, uh, then, of course, there's going to be reward uh, for that. And, uh, and that's incentive to, to get involved and try and, and, and push them off. So that's it. That is the, uh, the great balloon escape. Uh, and um, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already. Uh, if you enjoy these videos and you like more adventure ideas or seeing how I do things and the, uh, the adventure stories that I come up with. And uh, leave comments below letting me know what you think. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. And I will see you in the next adventure. Take care. Bye.